Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have another Back to Cake Basics episode for you and I'll be sharing my recipe for salted caramel frosting. This is one of my all-time favorite frostings. Absolutely love it on cakes and cupcakes. Let me show you how to make it. I'm going to start things with the main ingredient, butter. I have two cups of unsalted softened butter. I'm going to place this into my mixing bowl. And this next step is really important. I'm going to whisk the butter for about five minutes on high speed, scraping down the sides of the bowl occasionally until that butter is really light and fluffy. And now I'm ready to add the rest of my ingredients. I'm using a 14 ounce can of Dolce de Leche, and this is essentially cooked sweetened condensed milk. If you can't get it in your area, you can always use a caramel sauce. Just keep in mind, if your caramel sauce is thinner than this consistency, you might have to add a little more confectioner sugar. About one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now for the salt, I start out with a quarter teaspoon of salt and then just taste test it to make sure that I don't add too much salt. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. I'm going to scrape down the sides of my mixing bowl to make sure that I get everything incorporated. And now I'm ready to add in my confectioner sugar. I have three cups of sifted confectioner sugar. You've got to make sure that you sift it so you don't get any clumps. I'm going to add in a little bit at a time. I might not even use all three cups, just depending on how thick the consistency gets. I'm going to scrape down the mixing bowl one last time. Make sure all that confectioner sugar gets mixed in. And then give this a whisk on high speed for a few minutes to get the frosting super light and fluffy. And check out this frosting. Isn't it gorgeous? I love how fluffy it is. Love the caramel color and it tastes so good. It's ready to frost my cake. And that's it guys for my salted caramel frosting recipe. Head down into my video description box to get the link to the full recipe and the recipe in grams and milliliters. And today I frosted my apple pie maple pecan cake, which is coming out at the end of this week. Hope you guys have enjoyed this back to cake basics episode and I'll see you next time.